Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, RockAuto.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. We started out the day in beautiful but chilly Lake Tahoe, and we only climbed higher as the day went on. Got it up to about 8,500 feet in elevation today. And where normal vehicles might have a problem with the thinner air, these bigger turbos in the GTS not only stirred more air into this monster, but they also stirred my soul as well. Kept me grinning like a fool all day long. And managed to scratch something off my bucket list that I didn't even know was there. If you have the means to obtain a GTS, by all means, bring it out here to Tahoe. It's truly a moving experience. But if you're already in the know about what it's like to drive a Porsche, I'll stop my daydreaming and give you what you came here to find out. The GTS makes 30 more horsepower than the S for a total of 450 at 6,500 RPM. Torque is up to 405 pound-feet and it hits pretty hard between 2150 and 5,000 RPM. All this Braunschweiger blast through a GTS specific center exit exhaust, which I personally thought could have been a little louder. Maybe the high altitude had my ears clogged, but that was by far my only gripe. Seven speed manual is standard and PDK automatic adds a worth it $3,700. GTS pricing starts at $120,700 for the rear wheel drive coupe. The Targa 4 starts at $139,900. Ours had a few boxes checked off, bringing it to a shade over 154,000. For everything I left out and a little bit more, keep your TV tuned to Motorweek.